Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install the Chisel and Bits mod for Minecraft 1.16.4. This is a really cool mod. It adds in so many different customization options for blocks and different things that you can do with blocks. It's actually really impressive. And if you're a builder and designer in Minecraft and you love building things and like having a huge block palette to choose from, Chisel and Bits is a mod that you need to have in every single build that you do in your single player world. Every single one of them needs this mod. It's great. Truly so much stuff added. I can't even cover it all in the intro here. As always, we'll check it out a little bit more at the end of the video, but overall just an awesome mod and an awesome thing that you need to add if you're a builder. But nevertheless, first and foremost, we do have Mr. Mark's sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft server. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we have to our own server, play our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. But we're not here to get a server, we're here to get chills one bit, so let's go ahead and do it. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below and that's going to take you here this is the official chisel and bits download page once you are here there are some different things that are worth noting for example there's the tips and tricks link the faq link different things like that you can also support them on patreon all of that stuff that is here if you have any questions this is where you need to go but nevertheless once you're here you want to come over here to the right hand side scroll down until you see minecraft 1.16 and then under that you see this very top version go ahead and click on the purple download button to the right of that that will then go ahead and start the download after a few seconds. It'll just be automatic. It'll automatically start downloading. However, you will need to keep the file on Google Chrome in the bottom left. So as you can see, we have this keep file. It's 100% safe to keep it. And you'll need to save it in the server screen if you're on Mozilla Firefox. So depending on your browser, it depends on what happens there. Now we aren't done downloading just yet, we still need to download Forge. You can find Forge as the third link down below. Then I think you here, this is our in-depth tutorial for getting Forge. We're going to go over the basics in this video, but if you have any issues with Forge or something, come back here to this tutorial right here, and it will walk you through all that. But nevertheless, once you're here, scroll down and click on this green Download Forge button. That will then take us off to Minecraft Forge's official website, where we want to make sure that it says MC 1.16.4 here. If it doesn't, click on plus 1.16 on the left-hand side, and click on 1.16.4. Then we want to come under Download Recommended, and click on the installer here. That's then going to take us off to add focus where stop! Don't click anything on this page. Don't click a single thing on this page whatsoever at all. Don't worry about it. Don't click a single thing on this page except the red skip button in the top right. The only thing that you want to click on this page is the red skip button in the top right. That's it. When you click on the red skip button, it's immediately going to start downloading Forge in the bottom left. It's 100% safe to keep it as long as it has Forge in the title, which ours does. If it doesn't, why'd you click something other than the red skip button? You only want to click that red skip button in the top right. Then in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox, it's the same thing. After you click that red skip button, you'll need to save the file in the center of your screen. Now that we have Forge downloaded, we can go ahead and minimize our browser right like so. And on our desktop, we have Chisel and Bits, and we have Forge. If these aren't on your desktop, no worries. They're going to be found in your Downloads folder. To find your Downloads folder, go ahead and click the little Windows icon. It's in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen. And then go ahead and type in downloads right like so in this downloads file folder in windows click on that and in here you'll find chisel and bits and forge drag these to your desktop just for ease of use now to get started what we want to go ahead and do is right click on forge click on open with click on java and click ok but nick i don't have java well if that's the case what you want to do is go to the description down below and come here this is our in-depth guide for getting java for minecraft mods chisel and bits being a minecraft mod this is where you'll want to get java for it so come here go through this tutorial and then you'll be good to go however if for whatever reason you still Still having issues or your jar files don't look like my files right they look like winrar files or zip files or something like that if that's the case you need to come here and run the jar fix and what this is going to do after you've installed java is make sure that all the files on your computer are linked to java and work together now finally we can minimize our browser we can go ahead and right click on forge click on open with click on java and click ok that's then going to open up the mod system installer for forge where all you want to do is go ahead and click on install client and click OK. It's then going to run through, do it some things, install Forge, do everything basically we need for Forge to be up and running in Minecraft. Obviously, Forge is required for chiseling bits, so it's kind of important that it does that. Nevertheless, as you can see here, it says successfully installed Client Profile Forge version 1.16.4. We can go ahead and click OK there, and it will turn that off, or turn it off. I guess it will go ahead and close out of that mod system install for Forge. At this point, you can actually delete Forge from your desktop if you want. If you can't do that, you'll be able to do it once we open Minecraft later and close it. Nevertheless, it's now time to finally install Chiseling Bits. To do this, you want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And before you hit that play button, wait, you want to make sure that the Forge profile is selected. Now, mine is selected down here in the bottom left, but if yours isn't, click on this little arrow and then click on Forge. Now, as you can see, it says 1.16.4 Forge under it. And as long as that's the case, you can go ahead and click play. But for those of you that don't have this Forge profile, or alternatively, for those of you that do and it doesn't say 1.16.4 under it, here's what you do. Come up here to the Installations tab, then you click on this plus new button. 
Now you can name this whatever you want. I want to name it play.breakdowncraft.com though. Why? Because that is our own incredible Minecraft server. We have 1.16.4 grief protected survival with medieval survival having 30 custom quests and a player based economy, aquatic survival, amazing slash shop based economy, whatever kind of survivor you want, we got it. We've also got custom skyblock with quest, MCMMO, custom jobs, custom OP enchantments. It's amazing. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Then we want to click on this version drop down box here and then we want to find release 1.16.4 dash forge. Right here it is for me. So go ahead and click on that. Then we want to go ahead and change our resolution. Solution. You don't have to do that, but I'm doing it because we're making a video here. Now, we'll say on this version drop down, it was right up here at the top for me. You may have to scroll down a bit to find that, so don't be afraid to do it, but for me, it's right up here at the top. So now let's go ahead and click create in the bottom right, and we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile. If you don't, though, that's because you don't have modded clicked up here in the top right. So if it's like this for you, go ahead and click on modded in the top right, and boom, you'll have your profiles up here. Now, in my case, I have play.breakdowncraft.com here. It says 1.16.4 forge. So let's go ahead and hover over that. Click that green play button. You'll get this warning, right? Are you sure you want to play modded Minecraft? Yes, we are sure. We know what we're doing. So let's go ahead and understand the risk and do not worry about, or like, tell me about this again. Go ahead and click play. And now Minecraft is going to open up with Forge installed. And from there, it's super, super easy to install chiseling bits. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut until Minecraft's open with Forge. Basically, just sit back and wait. And then once it's open, we'll see you on the Minecraft main menu. We are on the Minecraft main menu. From the main menu, you want to click on this mods button here. Once you've clicked on that mods button, just go ahead and click on the open mods folder button, right like so. What's that going to do? Well, it's going to open your mods folder. Now to install chiseling bits, it's so easy. All you want to do is take chiseling bits for the file that you downloaded and drag and drop that into your mods folder. Boom. You're done. Now all you want to do is come back to Minecraft and sure, it's not here. And if you click done or whatever, it's not going to appear until you go ahead and quit the game. Then we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher again. Don't worry. You don't have to do all that complicated stuff. All you have to do now is select the profile that you selected before. In my case, play.breakdowncraft.com. Maybe it's Forge for you. And then click on that green play button. There's no warning this time or anything like that. It's going to open right on up without any issues. And once it does, we'll be in game with chiseling bits. It's, it's that quick, that simple, that easy. Nothing overcomplicated. It's done, right? Like I said, it's very, very simple. Now, at this point, we're going to check out this mod just a little bit. I, you know, there's a lot in this mod, and I don't have much experience with it. I have much, like, a lot of experience with the Chisel mod, but not the Chiseling Bits mod. That's okay, it happens. But I'm going to be able to show you some of the stuff in-game, kind of do a little showcase of it. Now, from the main menu here, we can go ahead and click on Mods, and we'll see Chisel and Bits is there, right like so. We can go ahead and launch into single player. I'm going to create a new world called Chisel and Bits. You don't have to do that. You can use this in existing worlds, but for me, it's just easier to do it this way. I'm going to go ahead and create a new world. I'll see you in-game once the world's been generated. So here we are in-game, and I've already got the chisel out. Now, as you can see, you've got all of these little bitty patterns here, and you can go ahead and chisel out different things in these blocks to be able to make your own unique patterns. For example, each little pixel has its own separate thing. And you might be like, this is a lot of work. And it is, but you only have to do this for one block. And then you can copy it and use it again and again and again, right? So let's say you wanted to go ahead and I don't know, make a custom grass block that kind of looks like this. This is just a very poor example, but you kind of get the point, right? It's kind of what we're going for, something like that. By the way, there is a slash undo command, I believe. Let's see, I forget exactly how to do this. Unfortunately, I'm not the best with these mod showcases, but you can see all the stuff that you can do here and kind of make your own little like uh, kind of textures. Then you can go ahead and actually copy this, right? Using tools in game. So if we come over here, we have all these different tools and you can actually copy this using, I forget which block it is. It's interesting. So you magnifying glass, oh, and I broke it. But you can actually copy it in game as well. You can also do this to, um, you know, use mass production of a, of, a, of a block as well, like a chisel block, you can actually do that. So we can put in a chisel here. And then I believe, let's see if we come over here, there's all these different, you know, designs and stuff like that that you can like add in. So if we go ahead and like, I don't know, do this. Let's see, do, do kind of see, am I chiseling anything? I don't even know if I'm chiseling anything. There we go. Let's go ahead and like just chisel this real fast. I believe we can come in here and somehow, oh, there we go. All right, so as well, you can hold shift and then like change the size of this. That's what I was thinking. I didn't think it all had to be that small. Yeah, so now you can do specific blocks. Like let's say you wanted to do like a little stair step up there. You could, you could go, down right like so and kind of like stair step your way up make half blocks that's very very cool and again that was shift to do that so yeah now there's lines and all that stuff yeah much much easier to use it this way everyone much much easier to use it this way um but yeah so there you have it that is how you can use chisel and bits whether it's one at a time and then again you can make a copy as well by right clicking on a block and then i believe putting it in here 
and it will start to mass produce it. I believe you have to feed this somehow, probably with a hopper or something, but you get the point. It's easy to set up and, and kind of like get things up and running. But nevertheless, if you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. However, your best friend with Chisel and Bits is actually going to be this resource here, which is found here. Just click on the you know tips and tricks, and there's a bunch of different tips and tricks and everything like that that kind of is used in this and there's also an FAQ on this website as well and more information on actually how to use this because while I try my best to show you how to install the mod sometimes there's thousands of mods out there and I just don't know how to use them however I am glad that we were able to figure out this shift click thing I feel like this is uh this is really really kind of like helped revolutionize you know this uh this and this mod <laughs> but overall it's really really cool super fun mod to use thank you all so so much for watching if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week my name is nick this has been the breakdown and i'm out peace